Welcome back everybody, Clyde here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining us for finally a long awaited Twinkle Tips Friday video. Let's get started. Welcome back guys. Glad to be back. It is December. I know we've missed a couple weeks of Twinkle Tips Friday videos, but we've been quite busy on the PPD front. And if you haven't heard yet, we have a new, fun, and exciting tool for the X lights around the world, uh, sequences that are out and available. PPD produced both of these. This month, it happens to be, one of them happens to be the club monthly sequence, which you can choose. But for everybody else who's watching the video, go to letter E, letter Z, EZRGB.com and click on the link that says uh, Easy Sequence on it. And then uh, up there you can you can use that link also uh, to map two of our sequences from the Easy RGB uh, website to your RGB effects and network file and create an FSEQ, which is a rather intelligent mapping software that we've developed. It's patent pending and uh, it's been a lot of work to produce it. So go get you two free sequences, get a video preview of it, use your FSEQ or use your RGB effects file and get an FSEQ file. You'll be able to use it in your X schedule or in your FPP controller uploads. So um, that's what's been up with us. Uh, but beyond that, what I wanna do today is uh, I've been going through my own layout and I'm still trying to set up my stuff. I had a massive controller failure yesterday, which which my F16 V2 beta board, the blue one that I've had for eight seasons, well, had an accident yesterday and it's no longer able to function. So I've lost it. But it brought me back to, I wanted to share with you this lesson that I'm going through right now because I'm recreating my layout. And something I want to share with you right now is that uh, whenever you're creating your layout, whenever you're building or adding new things into your layout, one of the things that you may want to start doing right now going forward is you may want to start learning that your groups can be exported with your models. Now, what does that mean? Uh, in, well, in, in, a, in a short breath, if you have, let's say, this, the, the serif flake here that you see, uh, let's say you want to make multiple copies of this. So it's easy. You you just select it and control C and then you can click off of it and control V and you can make a bunch of copies of a snowflake. No worries. It, it copies the submodels there. See all the submodels. Yeah, it's great, right? But it's actually, that's the hard way. I'm going to uh, just delete these out of here. There we go. And I'm going to show you it's far better to put them in the groups that you expect to use them in. So for instance, if we have, let's say a snowflake group, we'll go ahead and create the snowflake group right now. Uh, and we'll call this SNOW. There we go. Now you got a snowflake group, okay? Um, but you have some submodels here. Maybe you want to uh, put some of those submodels. Uh, let's say here's the snowflake tips. Let's uh, right click. We'll create a group from selection. We'll call this snowflake. tips. Okay. So very simply, I've just created two submodel group or two, uh, one group, uh, with a regular prop in it right here. And right there's the regular model. And then you have the submodels, which are, uh, just the submodels. It's not the whole model. It's just bits and pieces and it's in a group. Okay. So now instead of copying and pasting this, watch what we can do. I'll go ahead and make that a little smaller. We're gonna select the model, right click, and export Xlight's model. Now, this takes you to um, uh, your uh, show folder where you're gonna be saving this at, and I'm just gonna save it. And now you get this extra dialog that pops up and says, hey, select groups to export. What that means is Xlight's is gonna now attach the groups that you've attached your submodels to and your models to, it's gonna export them if you want them. If you don't want them, hit the cancel button like it says right up there. But I'm gonna leave these both checkmarked and now that model that we exported is gonna have the data saved in it. Now watch what happens when we go ahead and we bring this back in. Let's go ahead and click the import button 
and we go click on the serif flake right there. Click open. Now, here's a new dialog. It says model group plural uh, groups already exist. So Xlice has, has realized, hey, this snowflake has the exact same group names that you've used in the past and it's existing. Would you like to add this model to the existing groups? Click yes and look what happens. So now you have your snowflakes group just grew by one and and now your snowflake tips, they have the same name, that they have the same uh, items in it look it just magically did that for you so let's go ahead and do another import we can import from Sarah Flake again and it's going to ask you would you like to continue so as you can see this is one of the things that as you build your layouts every year or you add new things especially if you're going to add in let's say um let's say you're going to add in the uh a bunch of candy canes so you have six or eight candy canes and you've already sub modeled them and you've already put them in groups, it really makes a lot of sense for you to go ahead and export the first model that you've created, do all the hard work once, and then slowly as you bring them in, one at a time, importing them each, then by all means, guess what? You just simplified your setup and you made it 10 times easier to get everything completed without having to go back, open all of these, select them one at a time, Hit the, hit the control key, select, right click, and create groups from selections or add groups from selections and so forth. I, I, I know it sounds simple, but we all like to do things as, as easy as we can. But the challenge that we run into in x -Lights is that there are so many ways to do things. And I think this is one of the best little secrets uh, that uh, X Lights has has added in. Now I think X Lights. I think Keith added this in. I want to say it was in Jul June of 2021. Um, and one of the reasons why this is uh, so important is this is one of the reasons that we did what we called certified models. Uh, if we go over here to the PPD website and we go to the certified models page here. All of these models that we created for the Boscoyo Studios, Gilbert Engineering, EFL, uh, all of these have our PPD groups inside of them. And what we did was we made it so that you could download these with our groups in it, and you would be able to then use the auto map function, and it would auto map the effects from our sequences into yours. And it makes it kind of easy to use the auto map and it, the the submodel groups are already set up for you. The groupings are already set up with you th with the with the snowflakes and the spinners and all of the stuff that we do already. So a lot of the hard work has already been done for you. Uh, but again, a huge thanks to the developers because they added this in. Keith did a, an amazing amount of work just uh, just to get this all to work really well for you. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video. I've got some exciting little things that we're gonna work on throughout the next, uh, I wanna say, couple weeks. And I wanna do a very special New Year's video coming up. So if you have any suggestions for videos that you'd like to see, things you'd like to learn about at X-Lights, if you have recommendations for songs that maybe you wanna see Pixel Pro Displays complete for you, by all means, put them in the comment section down below. Join us on our Tuesday nights. We're gonna have a, uh, every Tuesday we have a Zoom webinar or Zoom get together, I should say, and you're welcome to join us for those as well. Guys, if you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't done yet so, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications. And by all means, if you appreciate the things that we do here, the Pixel Pro Displays, it would be amazing if you were to join the PPD Sequence Club and we will program one awesome sequence brand new to the store each and every month. Now we've been doing two for over 16 months, 14, 15 months. It's been a while. And uh, you guys are welcome to join us in the club, get awesome discounts and savings, and hopefully get some awesome sequences and choices. Thank you for joining me this week, guys. Clyde here from Pixel Pro Display signing out. We will see you in the next video. Take care and bye for now. Clyde here from Pixel Pro Display signing out. We will see you in the next video. Take care and bye for now. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs>